Today we're taking a look at ASX listed stock Ionic Rare Earths, ticker IXR, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see Ionic go in the near future. Let's get into it. How's it going guys, Ryan here and welcome back to another ASX stock analysis video. We're checking back in with a company we didn't look at too long ago. They are Ionic Rare Earths, their tick on the ASX is IXR and clearly from their name they are a rare earth miner and also they're getting into the production of the batteries and the manufacturing, all that sort of good stuff as well. So their flagship project is the Makutu Rare Earth Project. They can earn in up to 60% of that and it's based in Uganda. So if any of that piques your interest, make sure you do have a look at the company. But something pretty special has just happened today on the chart. So I want to check back in and take a look and share it of course with you guys straight away. So today we're going to perform some technical analysis on IXR and make some predictions on where we can expect to see it go in the near future. Without further ado, let's jump straight into today's analysis. Welcome back into the IXR chart. Guys, it wasn't too long ago that we were looking at this stock. And as you can see, quite a bit has happened. Our prediction was we were gonna fall a bit more than we had expected, but obviously this chart had other plans and we bounced off not only the 20 day, but also the 50 day moving averages and immediately tried to break out of our channel. We then dropped back down. And of course, right now we hit a day high, which is sitting at 6.8 cents and closed at 6.5 cents. And I actually really want to rejig this chart. Obviously we had our consolidation down here and we had our long-term uptrend, but I don't think it's as accurate as it could be. Firstly, the I suppose number one thing I want to look at is our initial downtrend that we had in place. I don't think the breakout really occurred on the 9th of March. Instead, I believe if we rejig this, it actually looked a bit more like that. And this is the top end over here. Moving that, I suppose, down to the parallel on the bottom, you can see as well, if we start to put in place a bit more information, this is the bottom line. So you can see that that is more of the sort of pattern that was occurring and we were still sitting around the top of it ready to test and try and break out. Basically just at the end of our other video, we didn't have that third point of contact, which we do now, and that's looking really good. As well as that, obviously, as you can see, we've got this nice uptrend coming up here as well. I think that is, you know, relatively accurate. Maybe we could readjust it, but we're hitting all those three points and coming up quite nicely. So I'm going to leave that probably as is for the time being. Now, the beauty of this is not only did we break out of, of course, our major uptrend, which is fantastic. We also broke out of the shorter term or more medium term downtrend as well. And this is the first time we've seen this happen. And thirdly, we also closed above our major point of resistance. And that was currently sitting at 6.4 cents. And that was off the basis of some previous highs that we had uh, in a run that occurred within March of 2021, as well as a bit of price action that occurred earlier this year in January of 2022. Now, all in all, where we're sitting at the moment is really, really good. And what we're hoping to basically see now is another close above this 6.4 cent mark. And as you can see, zooming out, we're basically past this point. Obviously, we've got a bit of price action here, but we're in blue sky territory. So really, where we're going to go, that is still, I suppose, remaining to be seen. So it's a bit uncharted at this point in time. So the best way to do this is rather than looking at the actual flag and candle patterns and, you know, other patterns, cup and handles, whatever it may be, when you enter into new territory, look at the momentum of the stock itself. So obviously we've had a nice green day here. We've broken through those key points of resistance. And now we have had a huge amount of volume. If we see something similar to what we saw today, much like how we saw it back over here, 
in the middle of January, three days of large volume consecutively that are in the green, we will have a relatively big run. Now, that run that we saw where we did have this same sort of action occur, if it was the same, we'd basically go from down here a low, which is at 5.7 cents, all the way up to the high, which is at 7.3 cents. And that is a pretty decent jump. In fact, I think it's a pretty impressive jump to say the least. And if we can get something similar to that occurring, now obviously the starting point's only slightly higher, I would easily, I'd suggest, say we'd be breaking through our all-time high over here. So what I'm gonna do is put in place that as basically our target to hit. Chuck that one right there. And I'm hoping what we see in the coming days is obviously that close above the 6.4 cent mark. And then we start to see a bit of movement upwards towards, of course, this major, major point up here. Now, let's have a quick look at a few more indicators. RSI, we've had a big jump today, so let's see where that's sitting. We're still sitting in our current banding, which is good. The 30 to 70 banding, that is the comfortable range that we want to be in. We've jumped from, I suppose in the past few days, a low of 47.88 up to today, which is 60.24. So it's not too bad. We're still about 10 points off that 70 mark. If we go into that 70 mark, obviously that will be considered then overbought and you'd expect some pullback, much like we did see here. Hopefully, what we see is at least another day or two of trading where we, you know, close probably not at that overbought bit just to make sure the momentum can continue and it doesn't pull back as hard and fast as we have seen here. Ideal case scenario, if we we're looking at something like that, is basically we, you know, break up, probably test this point up here, this 7.3 cent point, and start coming back down, you know, before then we actually break out again. Allow for a bit of consolidation to actually occur. That would be ideal case scenario for us. MACD, let's have a look at that. And as you can see, we had a beautiful cross over here of the 12 day EMA above the 26 day EMA, probably on about the 7th of March there. And whilst it looked like this was a pretty small, I suppose, peak, we have started coming back up and we are moving in the right direction. We're still very low. If you look at our previous run, it went high and it went high quick and it started from basically over here, the cross occurred on the 31st of December. The value was at a low of 4.4 cents that day and we went up all the way here to that 7.3 cent mark. If we have something similar, well, it's gonna be a real treat for holders and we're going to be absolutely, of course, smashing this 7.3 cent mark. Now, what we need to watch for now is, are the buyers and sellers even, or are we, I suppose, having majority buyers or majority sellers? Now, I'm expecting we're gonna see majority buyers. I'm expecting a green candle like this should actually probably be a lot bigger. You can see the green candle here with the momentum going up. It was significant for these few days. Ours is relatively small still. There's not too much influence that's caused, which indicates to me that, yes, we've had majority buyers today, but in fact, there has also been a lot of sellers, yet we've still closed basically, you know, 10 to 15% up, which is absolutely fantastic. But it is showing that there is strength and it's showing that, you know, the price is obviously moving in the right direction now. Based on all this, what's my target? Well, I think it's quite clear. My target is 7.3 cents. And when we hit that 7.3 cents mark, I won't mind it coming back a bit. As I said, consolidation's good. You don't want it to overdo itself. And you wanna form a solid base for the next move upwards. So if we consolidate for maybe a week or a few days or whatever it may be, before then breaking past that 7.3 cent mark, that'd be fantastic. If it keeps going, it keeps going. But just be aware what goes up fast also often does come down fast as well. That wraps up today's analysis on IXR, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video as well, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. I'll leave it there for today, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time.
Cheers.